Ben Brown at Evolution Martial Arts in Sparks, Nevada with Steven. Seen Steven in some videos. It's been a little bit. Yeah. Um, we're talking about Butterfly Guard. So, quick recap. What you can do from Butterfly Guard. Well, defensively, my guard is to keep Steven from connecting to me, which keeps him from passing my guard. So, I try to keep my hands inside his, right? Keep it, he's where I want to connect to my wrists, my head. I'm constantly disconnected, okay? Offensively, I'm looking for connection points. I want to do the same thing he wants to do, but for a different reason. I'm not trying to pass his guard. I'm trying to either sweep him, which starts with underhooks, overhooks, right? These sweeps, two-on-ones, turn into arm drags, which turn into back takes. These are all good things. I can create leg exposure. So Steven steps up lazily into combat base. I'm into my leg exposure, all my leg attacks. And then finally, neck exposure. It's the fourth major thing you can do from Butterfly Guard. How do I create neck exposure? I, I need Steven to kind of compromise his own base and posture a little bit. If he's good, he's not gonna do that voluntarily, right? But his desire to pass my guard and connect to me is gonna help me a little bit. Yeah, anything like this. A good way to get someone leaning forward is to constantly be, right? He's either gonna keep backing up, in which case I'm gonna move forward, maybe body lock right. or a double leg takedown, things like that. But if he comes back into me, I'm looking for this move, where I'm capturing the top of the head and chin strapping the neck. Two people that come to mind, Gordon Ryan, Marcelo Garcia. These are serious names in Jiu Jitsu. They do this from Butterfly Guard. So we're here, boom, I got this. I'm gonna pull both of these, pull his head under my arm, pinch my elbow. Now there's different grips. This is kind of the standard guillotine grip. If you're flexible, you can get that high elbow. So I'm getting my elbow up on his shoulder. I don't have flex, I can't even do this. My shoulders are a mess. So I grip like this, right? So I'm here, I'm gripping like this on the side. Two ways, go ahead and sit up. Two ways you can get your legs if you get that guillotine. I favor this. Right, so I've got Steven here. So I've got this foot on his hip. This is a frame. And then this keeps his posture down. Because what Steven wants to do immediately is hop to the opposite side. And then if I hold on to this, he's gonna von flu up. <laughs> von flu <choke. laughs> Yeah, a lot of people hold on to that. If you, if they get to the opposite side and you have a front headlock, let go. It'll be hard to let go. So it gets it feels, real scary. It feels right. It gets real <laughs> scary, right? So I favor this configuration of my legs, but you can go to closed guard too. So I end up here. The closed guard works fine too, okay? The mechanics of finishing this guillotine, high hands. I bring my hands up high. I'm trying to make this hole very small that his head is in. So no matter how I grip, and there's other Three finger fancy grips. Like I said, I grip like this because my shoulders are shot. This is probably a little better. When my forearm, when I'm like this, this forearm on his shoulder, it also acts as a frame. It keeps him from, just makes it a little harder for him to fix the problem. The mechanics of finishing the guillotine, when I've got him here, a lot of people want to lay back and pull on the head. That's exactly wrong, okay? I actually want to crunch in what I'm trying to do to Steven is I want to put his chin on his chest, right? So I'm using my body to compress him. I need to keep this shoulder over his neck. A lot of people, they get lazy here and you start seeing this and they end up popping their head out, right? So I got to get here hot. You can see when I lift my hands, you see what it does to him? And then I'm bringing my body in. And then for me, the last little piece is I'm gonna plane my body and I'm gonna kink the hose. Think of a garden hose kinking it. So it's two forces, this and this happening. 
Blood's getting cut off by my bicep here and this part of my wrist on the other side. So I'm here or here, either way. Um, let's do it one time. Okay, so I'm like pushing. So, I mean, this right here, Steven's already compromising his own base and posture. People will do that. Trying, to, He's trying to put me on my back, right? So boom, I'm right here as I fall back. So I'm trying to put his chin on his chest and then kink the hose, all right? Yep. That's how you do it to me. Now you've got these big long legs <laughs> and we notice that it can be hard for you to get the legs into place. So if you can't, just go to close guard. Okay. It's not, I think it's a little better to have that frame of, of cross the I hips. I like it as long as I can get to it sometimes. Right, if it's hard I though, to scoot back to go to close guard. My so this is out. what we're talking about. If you're built like Steven, kind of tall, you might have to take an extra step and scoot your hips back. So I get here, he snatches my head, and then this is where you'd scoot your hips back to get your leg in. Yeah, neck. Yeah, neck exposure. So here's another thing about neck exposure. If, so go ahead and uh, I get your head here. Let's say you start backing up right now. I'm gonna follow, right? That was a little clunky, I'm 50 <laughs> and broken. But like if you're agile, it's from here to here. That's that shin roll is super important. Boom, I'm following. And I end up in like more of a front headlock situation. I'm not gonna go into every option here, but like I have this option, come back up. I can grab here and drop into my guillotine, come back up. I can circle for anything you can do from here, mostly, you know, back takes. The cool thing about this is, if he's forward like this, um, and his, he's fighting my hands, that's when I switch to here. If he tries to stop me by moving his hips, He's probably going to put his hands on the ground, and then I go back to here. So you put him in this dilemma, a real predicament, <laughs> where if I'm ahead in the timing, you're reacting to me, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get one of those things I want. Right? So I don't, I mean, all the front headlock stuff, Darces, anacondas, guillotines, circle to the back, all kinds of stuff from there. That'll be a whole different video, a whole different class. Anything? No.